Hi everyone uh, and uh, welcome. I'm Natalia Bershnikova from Atlassian. I'm here with my friend Christian Kelly from Accenture. And uh, today we're going to talk to you about a topic that's top of mind for many people. We're going to talk about enterprise agility and why is it hard and how can you use best practices to drive a customer-centric mindset. So let's talk about what's so difficult about enterprise agility because it is hard and there are all these challenges that organizations are trying to solve. So today we want, we want to share what we find so hard about uh, changing enterprises and driving transformation. And the first thing we want to talk about is rebadging. Hmm. That is a very whimsical term, uh, but uh, that's uh, a trap that we see a lot of organizations falling into. Um, sometimes you hear about it when people talk about doing agile versus being agile. Uh, but essentially, as companies embark on their transformation journey, oftentimes they want to start with changing names. And uh, Christian, I know that you have some very good stories about what can go wrong with uh, rebadging and what is it? Yeah, I've seen this over and over again, and, and it typically happens in um, IT companies that are moving. They're either, go either going through a pivot to product or they're on their agile journey. And when I've come into, I'll take a technology company that I came into on the IT side, they were working on redoing all their commercial operations. And when I came into that company, everybody wanted to go on the enterprise agility journey. But when you start digging into it, you had people who were a process person yesterday. They were a global process owner or a business analyst, and people just rebadged them as a as they're now a product owner mm -hmm. and they're now a product manager. And they gave them these titles without any training, without any understanding of what it actually means to be a product manager, without the understanding of the customer centricity required. And so it's it's something that I'm pretty passionate about is that if you're gonna go down that road and you're gonna go from doing agile to being agile, you really need to adopt a customer and growth mindset around customer. And you need to help, help your people understand how to start being in love mm -hmm. with customer problems. Less about the processes, less about what you do internally, mm -hmm. but more about your customer problems. Yeah, it is the culture that's often overlooked. Uh, I would agree with you. And uh, you know how they say, fake it till you make it, yeah. but rebadging is fake it till you fake it. And then hopefully eventually- Yeah, hopefully, like what's the path to yeah. making yeah, yeah, it, right? Yeah, yeah. 